Should Rockets fans boo James Harden tonight? Yeah, that's right. James Harden making his return to Houston. There's going to be, I think, 4,500 fans in attendance. It's his first time back since January when he was traded to the Nets, which somehow feels like that was three years ago, but I guess was only a couple months. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so the question is, should they boo him? And my answer is a resounding no. And here's the thing. I understand it's frustrating. I understand that the Rockets have lost, what, 11 in a row? And that they're not doing great and that you could see it as James Harden who broke the team. I understand things were messy right before he left. Here's the thing. If there's anything that this last year has taught us, it should be that life is short this is the second best player in the history of your franchise. Tillman Fertitta has said they are going to retire his jersey. He is iconic to your franchise. He loves your city. During the recent issues in Texas is the word I'll use to sum it up as quickly as possible. He was very active in the community, making sure that he was providing as much as he could and helping people out because he still feels connected to that city. And sure, as a fan, you can be mad. If you feel mad at him, you're justified in that. But I would say that staying mad is only harming you. And the fact that we haven't been able to have fans at all at games for a season, to now have the ability to go to a game and to use that chance to let a guy know that you're mad about something he did a couple months ago, that's just gonna make you guys look petty in the long run. You're gonna celebrate him when they retire his jersey. I know nothing I'm saying is gonna make any difference and they're probably going to boo him anyway. Somebody else talk. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's pro it's problematic for me because, see, I've been sitting here counting the number of rings that Tom Brady won for you and your fan base before he left to Tampa Bay. And you know what? It's more than one, right? It's more than zero, actually. And that's how many James Harden brought the fans of Houston. And so what I would say is if I am just a citizen of Houston, I'm not booing James Harden. If I am a Houston Rockets fan, I'm booing the bejesus out of him because not only did he not get you where the fans thought he would get you as a scoring leader, as an MVP, he got you to the Western Conference Finals. And say what you will about it being Chris Paul's fault for getting hurt, James Harden infamously has the games where he did not perform when it mattered in the playoffs. But here's why I would boo him. Not because he didn't perform in the playoffs. Because he destroyed your franchise. And there are other ways to get out of this thing. There are other ways to, to move on. Look at Bradley Beal. He might move on. He might not. But look, the Wizards are not a ruined franchise. This Rockets franchise was absolutely ruined. He was everything to that franchise. And now that franchise is absolutely nothing. Their best player, Christian Wood, he thought he was going to have a breakout season come to get a little bit more of a spotlight. Now he's on one of the worst teams that hasn't won since February, and he's back to having no attention whatsoever after coming back from his injury. So if I'm a Rockets fan, I'm looking at this like, not only did you not live up to expectations, not only did we not even get to a finals when it felt like we were a, the best team, one of those Warriors years, but you left and you set the place on fire. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and boo. And if I'm one of those 4,500, I'm going to boo even louder because I feel like he's going to hear me more than he would have any other year. My general opinion on these things is that you shouldn't boo here. Like, these are people making decisions for their lives. I understand, like as he said, they're going to boo the ever-loving hell out of them in this spot. And I can see the reasons why. The thing I would disagree with is there are other ways to do this. Like, Bradley Beal is a great example. Because guess where he still is? in the middle of that Wizards team that he would probably like to not be on and that we would like to see him someplace else not on at that point. And this is the difficulty we're seeing happen in the NFL right now. There aren't a lot of ways to force your way out of these spots when you're a player in the current setup and the current landscape of all of this. And so I can look now. James Harden has more than justified his desire and his reasons for wanting to leave. We've seen that apparent, and we've seen it borne out already in a short sample size in Brooklyn and so that's the only thing I disagree with that there was another way for James Harden to get what he wanted in the timeline that he needed for this to happen well I was laughing at this part because he was pointing at to the other departures in Houston and saying hey I could have done it differently as if Deshaun Watson now granted he's doing a lot of people are on Deshaun's side here right getting out of the Texans franchise but he's doing it the same way loud public and basically tearing down the franchise on the way out because now we're examining every element of that front office and saying hey the Texans are a garbage franchise these guys do deserve to leave so I'm not sure exactly what he was saying that there unless like he wanted exactly to be like JJ Watt and just have everybody 
Friday. That just sounds like his point. Him. His point is a little bit salty, but his point is Deshaun's doing it, and nobody's not taking his side. Everyone's on his side. I did it, and everyone's like, I ruined the franchise. Why don't you take a hard look at that front office of the Rockets? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.